travel the cold lane. Of course, I came to show you shrapnel. Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I am giving you a walkthrough of the new maps on Black Ops. This one is called WMD, and I picked the G11, which is an assault rifle that's a little different than the rest of the assault rifles. Um, you can only unlock this gun after all the other assault rifles have been purchased. And this is what it looks like with the gold camo. The whole gun's not gold. Just some of the metal parts are, I guess. I'm not sure what the black is. Maybe some sort of rubberized grip. But this gun is different in the way that it can also be used as like a semi-auto three-round burst sniper rifle. You can put a zoom scope on it or a low power scope. And it becomes a pretty beastly sniper rifle. So here I was testing out the... Uh, the drop shotting because whenever you're running full speed and try to drop shot you now dive and when you land of the dive you really can't shoot for like a, a split second so but if you're running full speed and you pull back like I'm doing here I'm pulling back before I actually hit jump or hit uh, go prone and then you don't jump so I was just trying to practice that a few times just to see how it worked out and this gun, you get a lot of bullets with this gun. So it's got great damage and range. Uh, it could be used as a sniper rifle. It's three round burst. Uh, I think it's going to be one of my most favorite guns in this game. Just for the versatility, the amount of ammo you get. Um, it's really fast reloading. They just take that barrel. It looks like it takes the barrel off and puts the barrel back on. So it's a pretty cool gun and it looks pretty slick too. And I did try it out with the scopes, and it works very nicely. And I like this uh, camera spike too. I think I'm going to be using it a lot. And you could push up on the D-pad, and it hides it and brings up the mini-map. This will be really cool to be able to watch a bomb, like if, especially like, say in Search and Destroy, and you're the only one left. You can put the camera on one bomb and go look at the other one, so you can really literally be in two places at once. You'll at least look after two bombs at once. And the crossbow is awesome as well. I haven't played uh, a lot of games in multiplayer yet. I'm just kind of walking around the maps before everyone was able to really get into games, so wanted to walk around the map, explore the maps, kind of see what they had to offer. So that's it. Uh, check out my other videos where I do walkthroughs of the other maps. And subscribe to my channel if you liked commentary. Alright, thanks. Have a good one.